front where it says aims real big. All right, everyone, today I'm out here in Statesville, North Carolina, and I found an abandoned Sonic just driving around. Now, I love finding places like this. You don't see too many Sonics like this. And, and you know, I like their food. I don't want to see a place close, but um, I like when you find something unique like this. Now, it is posted, so we're not going to try to go in or anything like that. We're just going to walk around this place real quick and kind of peek through some windows uh, to see what it looks like. Now, it was a larger building for Sonic. It, it makes me wonder if they had uh, a dining room in here. I think they did. There are signs that say dining room parking. So that's cool. I've never seen a Sonic with a dining room inside. But to my understanding, this closed roughly three years ago. And it's just been sitting since. And uh, I like looking at it, especially with all the signs still up. And I see a menu up there. So I'm curious to see what the prices were like three years ago. Um, I'm assuming COVID had something to do with it if it was three years now. Uh, I could be wrong, um, but what are we waiting for? Let's check it out real quick. Okay, there's your Sonic. Interesting to see. I, I notice some of these menu screens, like that one right there, missing. The pole is there, and they just put up a sign that said dining room and patio parking. Almost as if when it broke, they just didn't want to replace it, so they just put that sign up instead. And there's, then there's more down there, more screens and a couple other dining room parking. Even though you have all this parking up along this side. So definitely an older location. Love that it still has all the signage up. From the enter signs to the exit signs over there. That one right there. Even the uh, Sonic sign over here facing the roadway. Check this out real quick. All of a sudden, like every car in existence has to turn right here. <laughs> See, Sonic, you should have stayed open. Wow. that's That's been closed for some time. You could tell that thing's hurting. Under the trees, too. You'd think they'd trim the trees a little bit. I like how it's there, and then you have a tree right here. So if you were coming up the hill, you'd see the tree before you see the sign. I didn't even see it. That was the funny thing. I was driving up the hill. Yeah, that one, see, they'd have to trim that a little bit. I was coming up the hill, getting ready to turn around, and when I turned around, came to, even that's for lease, that bank. But I'm not going to do a video of that. I don't care about that as much because that's not aesthetically pleasing like this is. But I come down the hill, didn't even see the sign. I saw that, and I'm like, oh, we got a Sonic here. And then I looked, I'm like, uh-oh, it's not open. So, anyway... Let's make this quick. I don't want to be here too long. Anyway, here's a menu up here. Somebody tried sliding it out. Uh, wow. I don't even see uh, breakfast on here that I normally get. It's not on here. The number 14, which is the breakfast burrito. I get it with tots. It even has the old card reader here. Look at that. The newer ones don't have that. Not with all this. You just put it in there, and it's a touch screen if you have to enter in your number or anything. Very cool. That's old. Sonic Nights. After 8 p.m. Half price shakes. Wow. What's this sign say on this thing? cake batter shakes my gosh that style light bulb too P dining room and patio parking man oh, I love seeing these old signs this is dated here we go let's check this one out here yeah you see all the signs so I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna peek through the window King's Hawaiian oh yeah yeah I don't even see the breakfast on here Oh, there it is. There it is. Breakfast. That's what I get. <laughs> this is nuts. You don't see this every day. Let 
This was probably uh, outdoor seating. Yeah, you could see where there were tables bolted to the ground here. Let's take a peek through the window real quick at their dining room. Oh, wow, look at that. That's cool. I've never seen where Sonic has a dining room. That's my first time seeing one like that. Employees only in here. This is like the kitchen area. Take a peek in there. It's trashed in there too. I really wonder if people have been inside. I'm not going to try it. I don't want to. I'm going to respect that. Dining room open. And then there's where the employees go into the kitchen. That's nuts. I mean, you have to understand it from, from my perspective, too. I'm from Pittsburgh. We only have a few Sonics in the entire Pittsburgh area, and they only opened up like a handful of years ago. They've been open now for a little while, yes, but they didn't open up at a time where Sonic had dining rooms like this. Look at that. You place your order there. That is so cool. So for me, I've never seen one like this. These might be common. They might be in places that I've never been. Because I don't go to Sonic all the time, nor do I pay that much attention to it. Hey, look. There's my old car, the Sebring convertible on there, but mine was navy blue. <laughs> I recognize that car in a heartbeat. That's funny. But yeah... I don't pay attention to Sonic because I don't go to it that much. But like I said, the ones in the Pittsburgh area aren't that old. So they never had the dining room. They just had some outdoor seating and all the stalls and the drive through Just love the amount of stalls that they had here and the ones that broke. They just put little signs up instead. And look at their trash area. I like how, how they made it all friendly with the uh, paintings on there. America's Drive-In, Statesville. Makes me sad that it's closed. Somebody hand-painted that. And people are using it as a dumping ground, too. Here's their drive through back here. Look at this place. That's a shame. You'd place your order here. They had the big screen there. How many times do I do videos that you hear sirens in the background? It's amazing how often this happens. <laughs> Here's the drive through side. And they got more stalls up ahead. And if you wanted to drive through here without being in the drive through lane, you got to dodge the branches from the trees. Obviously, after three years of neglect, they've since overgrown. I mean, the grass is growing up pretty high now, too. I guess they would have specials on these. Special signs. Roof is dripping here pretty hard. Try and take a peek through here. Can't see a whole lot. That's where the soda fountain would have been. That spray paint, I think, is on... No, it's on the outside. That dumb stuff which I don't condone. There's another look inside. That's trashed. At least vandalism is minimal. It's like natural decay in there and when they were just vacating the premises. I'm fascinated with this though. The card reader here, the old school card reader like that. That That is old. Especially for Sonic's uh, today and i just had sonic not too long ago as a matter of fact i had it in streetsboro ohio on a trip that i had taken to cleveland and was on the way back and it was all touch screen like that and it still had the card reader but you didn't enter in on a little keypad if you had to enter in your pin you did it on the screen but it didn't even offer that option all the egg crates there very cool. Let's take a look through this window real quick, too, and then we're going to get on out of here.
all the trash in there. I really wonder if somebody was using this as a home base. I don't know. I'm going to respect the signs <laughs> and leave. Yeah, definitely neglected. They haven't cut the grass here in a while. Look at this. Build your perfect meal. Stall number 19. Jeez, how many stalls did this have? And look, see, they had what would have been more screens here when they broke they put dining room and patio parking signs up and that's metal that's aluminum and you can see the sun really beats them on this side it's crazy i think if i was here and say the weather was nice because i like those ones there that have the roof over them but if i was sitting here and the weather was nice i'd probably want to take this stall right here closest to the road you can see everything you're you got the tree here too covering you and you're not near all the bright lights especially if it's getting dark out and you just want to have a nice little meal before you call it a night bring uh, the family out to get ice cream or just their famous drinks but that king's hawaiian though look at this Breakfast Slingers, $1.49. So, to put it in retrospect, that's what I got a few days ago. In 2020, it was $4.99 for a medium combo. When I got it at Streetsboro, Ohio, just a few days ago, it was $6.99. So, went up $2 in three years. Anyway, that's a wrap for here, I guess. Oh, I didn't even notice. I didn't mention it. I, I noticed it, but I didn't mention it in the video. You can see the Sonic sign up, up on the roof. They just vacated the premises and left everything up. Oh well, signing off. Definitely a unique find. Very cool. That That is so dated back there for sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and respect what those signs say. I just decided to take a couple of pictures in this quick video to show you something that stopped in time here. Because one day this is going to get, this will either get demolished or repurposed and all of these signs will be taken out. So enjoy it while you can, but just enjoy it by admiring it from afar or through photos, video. Don't try to go in there. Don't vandalize. Don't do that. That's cool, though. I liked seeing that. Now I want Sonic. <laughs> Wish I could get it, but I'm on a mission to get to South Carolina, so that ain't going to happen right now. Maybe later, because they're all over the Carolinas, so we'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.